Hey there, Doctor here, and welcome back to the second part of how to make a Minecraft Creatures Pack from nothing. Uh, it's been a year since I did the last one, but anyways, where we left off, we went over the basic steps to creating a resource pack, creating the pack.mc meta file, uh, making the pack icon, and making our first block texture, which is this green ladder here, as you can see in the thumbnail. So, this episode, we're going to change our first item. All right, so starting off, you're gonna hit Windows R and you're gonna type in percent app data percent. And you're gonna go into your dot Minecraft folder. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna find resource packs. Then you're going to find the resource pack you made in the previous video or whichever one you're editing. You're gonna open up that folder. You're gonna go assets, Minecraft, textures. And well, first of all, I guess we'll explain all these. So the particle folder is the folder that shows all the particles. So if you cast a fishing rod, that little bobber is a particle. When a villager does the little green stars after you've done a trade, those are also particles. The painting is the painting textures models. These are the armor models that the player wears. It's not the actual texture here. I guess I'll show you. It's not the actual texture that you see when you hold a piece of armor in your hand. This is just what it looks like when the player wears it. This texture format may be a bit weird if you don't understand what it is, but we'll get into that once we do armor editing. So uh, if we go back, then we have miscellaneous. These are different things in Minecraft, such as the underwater overlay, the shadow beneath the player, the vignette. This is like darkening at the corner of your screen. Uh, the pumpkin blur, when you wear a pumpkin, the overlay you get, the force field, this is what the barriers look like from the world border, the enchanted item glint, the unknown server and pack textures, and we'll get into all of these in a, at a later date. We've got the map folder here, which shows the map texture for the map background and the different map icons that show up on the map throughout the game. Then you've got the item texture folder, which is pretty self-explanatory, it's every single item in the game. The GUI, or Graphical User Interface, folder holds all the textures for all inventories, such as the beacon inventory, uh, and it shows all the different things that you interact with a mouse in Minecraft. So when you're going through the main menu, you've got the buttons for single player, multiplayer, and stuff like that. Those are all part of the GUI textures. Then you've got font. This is for how your letters are going to look like in Minecraft environment these are the sun the moon phases the end sky clouds rain snow stuff like that pretty self-explanatory we'll get into that at a later date entity these are every single mob armor stand boat stuff like that it could be an arrow it could be a trident it's anything that is considered an entity in the game and that includes chests curiously enough they're not a block they're considered an entity then we have the effect folder, which just has this dither thing. That's for an old super secret setting. I believe it was the notch super secret setting. It's just an extra filter for that. So it's actually completely useless and I'm going to delete that folder right now. Color map, it shows the foliage and grass textures for the different biomes, I believe. I've never actually gone into this, but I'll study it up for an, a tutorial at a later date when we actually do this. But basically it's like changing, from what I understand, the way grass will look in a desert, for example. Then we have the block folder, which obviously contains every single block image in the game. For this tutorial, I said we'd be getting into editing our first item. So let's get into there. So any item is what you are going to be holding in your hand. Now, this actually also includes stuff like doors. So for example, here you've got the birch door. It's the held item of the birch door. Even though it's a block, it's represented by an item. Same goes for boats and armor stands, right? So it's what's what you hold in your hand to represent something that actually exists in the world. And obviously you've got your normal items like uh, a stick, an apple, diamond sword, stuff like that. So. We can change any item here. Here are the different clock phases. That's why it's like 26, 27, 28, is these are the different progresses of the clock. So let's hit at the dime. Right, so you're gonna open GIMP. I already have it open. I had it ready for the tutorial. You can just click and drag it in here. And then let's put full screen. All right, so if you hold control and you scroll up, you'll actually zoom in and 
I guess we could replace this diamond with like an amethyst thing. You know what an amethyst is? It's it's a rare gem. Not as hard as a diamond, mind you, but it's a rare gem nonetheless. So let's let's do that. And so I guess we could start off by making a new layer. So you well, if you don't have this panel, you can go into Windows, Dockable Dialogues, Layers, or you can just hit Control L for the shortcut. You can bring that down here. And then you click the new layer button, we'll call this amethyst. And then we have the new layer right here. Now, whenever we edit across this layer, we can disable it and still check the diamond beneath. We're just gonna have the diamond here for centering purposes, but I don't actually need it for the texture. So first we have to determine how many pixels we want the amethyst to be. By the way, this is 16 by 16 texture. So if you wanna make this texture by default, without editing over the diamond. You can go File, New, you set these dimensions to 16 by 16, then you go Advanced Options, and you set Fill Width to Transparency from Background Color. You hit OK, I'll start a new document, 16 by 16. So, I want this amethyst to be smaller than diamond, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the Rectangle tool, I'm going to select that, I'm gonna set the select the diamond layer down here, and I'm going to hit the move tool. I'm going to move it up a couple pixels actually. And this is where our amethyst is actually going to start is right here on the bottom. So then we're going to take our pencil tool and we can change the color here. I already have a purple selected, but basically you want a darker purple for the outline as most Minecraft textures have. I'm gonna make it as wide as the diamond one. And then I'll just go improv from there because I don't need it. So uh, we want to make it a kind of round shape. So add another pixel from either side, go a few pixels up. We don't actually need to do the same amount of pixels on each side, but I will because uh, I think it's just nicer that way. I'm gonna bring it up again. No, I'm actually not too happy with that. I'm gonna move this down one more. I'm gonna control X, control V, and then I'm gonna move it down this way. It doesn't actually move the layer with it. I'm gonna hit N. I'm gonna bring this up a couple more. You know what, no. This has to be taller. And then we can start bringing it in. And there we go. Control A, control X, control V. Hit M for the movement tool, and I'll move it back down one. And I know I said I wanted this to be smaller than a diamond, so I'm actually going to go back to the rectangle tool. I use the rectangle tool probably a lot more than I should use it, but I don't know how to properly deselect because I've never worn that. Make sure you learn the program properly. I, I use Photoshop usually, so that's probably the reason. You know what? I think that right there is good. So. So like that, control X, control V. And there we go. Now we have the outline for our amethyst. And if we put the diamond over that, I've actually got to move that down. Then we can see that it's actually slightly smaller than the diamond. Okay. So now we have to start filling it in. Now, if you look at the diamond texture, it's got a kind of darker end on the bottom right and a brighter end on the upper left and it all kind of centered towards the middle. So we're not gonna do anything as detailed as this because this is actually pretty difficult to make a graphic that is this small look this good for something. But uh, we're, we're gonna do as best we can in a short amount of time. So you're gonna select the pencil tool again or N and you click this little box here for the color and we're gonna slide this up a bit to get a slightly lighter color. And then we're gonna fill this in. Okay. Maybe like that, there we go. And then we're going to take a lighter color and we're gonna fill in the pixels next to that. Okay, now I wanna start for the opposite side, so switch these around and we're gonna go white first so let's do like that and eventually throughout practice you'll get a kind of feel for this 
for getting the proper light levels at proper times. But until then, it's just doing it over and over again. Let's select a very light purple here for the second. And I guess we could have it all like concentrated. That's one point right here. And a bit darker. And let's go back to the dark textures side. So, here we go. And now, as you can tell, this actually feels pretty off. But if we zoom out, kind of good, actually. But uh, in the middle, anyway, we'll, we'll see how it looks in the end, and then we'll tweak this later. So, in the middle, we want a kind of middle room between this pixel right here and this pixel right here, so that it, like can have a kind of feel of transition. So we're gonna take the darker one, we're gonna go to somewhere, I'd say about here, like as much as it was on the dark side, we're gonna, this length right here, I'm gonna go around here. I'm gonna put that on the bottom right, and then I'm gonna do, can I get the color, thank you? Hold control to get the eyedropper tool. And then I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna double, this darkness and now we have this weird looking thing maybe if we just go slightly darker for this right here it kind of looks better okay so our problem here is either our dark right here is way too dark or our light right here is way too light I think the light right here is way too light. So we're gonna take this dark here, and instead I'm going to actually take all this and delete this. So just, cause my, the eraser tool works pretty goofily. I actually prefer to use the rectangle tool to delete it. Sometimes that becomes pretty painful, but well, it is what it is. So I'm gonna take, we start off with this dark purple, if we go, and a lighter. Oh, I have this opacity a bit down because I'm used to Photoshop zooming and zooming out. So if I hold Alt, then it adjusts the transparency of that. Don't want that happening. So I'm going to fill this in just uh, straight up to start off to see. Looks kind of like an egg now. Okay. I'm going to fill that in. We're going to have, you know, we could have it all concentrated on this point. So we could have that part kind of pop. Just for now, we're going to have it like that. We're going to go to a really light texture right now. We're going to start working our way in from there like we did before. say instead of making it look more like a diamond shape we instead brought the edges in a bit there we go that looks much better so i guess we could just fix this i want to just quickly say that the fact that this one looks better is my personal opinion and you can make it however you want it to look like you don't have to copy me just move that up a bit and remove these corners right here. There we go. It looks a lot more like a, a modded version of the amethyst that I'm more familiar with. Maybe we should make this transition a bit more obvious. So I'll take that there. I'll make this texture a lot lighter. It's good this way. Okay, so now that we've changed that, we can go file and overwrite diamond.png. I'm satisfied with this. We can change it later if we want to, so we don't have to worry about this being a permanent change. So after you go file and overwrite diamond.png, then you're done. You can close out of that. 
discard changes. So we can minimize that, and now we have our diamond texture. If we run Minecraft, all right, so now that we've loaded up Minecraft, you go to resource packs and you load up the resource pack you want. And we open our inventories and look at the diamond. Here we will have our new beautiful amethyst texture. But there's one issue. It's still called diamond down here. What's up with that? Let's fix it. So what you want to do is you want to open up your Minecraft resource pack folder again. You're going to go into... Well, I guess I'll might as well go from the default directory. So assets, Minecraft, Lang, and you want English underscore US dot JSON. If you're editing for the US version of English, if you're editing for any other language version, you want to edit that language's version of the language file, which you can find in the versions folder. We learned how to export the resource pack from a jar file of a version last tutorial. So you can actually check that. The episode link will be in the description and you'll be able to find the file you want for your language in there. In my case, it's English underscore US. So I'm going to be editing that. So as you can see, I've got a weird icon here that you might not have. I've got Notepad++ installed, which is what I usually edit these with. I definitely recommend installing it if you plan on doing a lot of textual editing inside of Minecraft. If not, you'll be fine with just pure notepad. Open with notepad. And here we have the Lang file. It's a lot to go over, huh? How will we find the diamond here? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You go edit. Search with Bing, since when is that bleh, an option? Oh my gosh. Okay, so you want to find, and you're going to type in diamond here. Not do one on, it's diamond, thank you, type. And uh, down, because we're starting from the top, so you want ser to search down and find next. Here we have diamond ore. We currently have the diamond ore texture enabled, so I won't actually change that right now. But if we go next, it's block of diamond. Then we go next, and here we have the actual diamond item. We're going to rename this to Amethyst. And while we're at it, we might as well find the achievement, or advancement rather, connected to diamonds. So we'll just keep filtering through until we find the Amethyst thing. So we, we still have diamond armor. These are subtitles. Um, there we go. Here we'll put Ameth. Since Amethysts is just weird, we'll, we'll just do Amethyst. And uh, here we'll do Acquire an Amethyst. And there you go. I believe that's it for now because we haven't edited diamond armor and stuff. But you'll just hit File and Save. And that will have saved your language file. Now, if you go into Minecraft, oh, and to figure out which language you're actually using, you go options, language, and then you can see through all of these. Here it says English US. So, uh, we have options, resource packs, and you can like deselect it and hit done and load it again. But instead, there's actually a shortcut. You can bring up a shortcut menu here with F3Q, and right here it says that F3T is the reload resource packs thing, so we'll press F3 and T. First hit F3 and then T, and it'll reload the resource packs that you currently have selected for you. And there we go, it is complete, and now if we open our inventory, this says Amethyst. And if we hit Escape and go Advancements, and I believe it's right here. There, Amethyst, acquiring Amethyst to the advancement. And that's it. To summarize what we did in this episode, you learned how to retexture almost any item in Minecraft and rename it to suit your needs. If this tutorial did help you in any way, then please leave a like and make sure to subscribe for next time because next time we're doing armor and you don't want to miss out. See you next time. Bye-bye.